All right, here I have two scenarios over here that's going to um, show you how you're going to get banding if you don't use the shutter angle on the Sony FX30. Now, here's uh, a scene shot. I'm going to scroll across it, and if you look right over here by the white and over here, you're not going to see any banding. You're going to see as I'm scrolling really fast on the video. You're not seeing any banding because I use the shutter angle 119.9. <clears throat> However, there's a scene over here that I shot, <clears throat> and I uh, wanted to show you. You can see the banding. As I scroll this up and down, you can see the black lines go up and down. Take a look. Take a real good look. And the faster I go, the more prominent it is. See, as I move back and forth, see the banding? See the banding back here and forth? And it's moving up and down. Well, it's moving up uh, the black lines. And that's because the camera is picking up these black lines that you're seeing are from <coughs> the lights. These lights that you see, they're run by the AC. And it's not in sync with the 60 cycles uh, of the flashing of the lights. So, and so at that moment of the shutter, as the shutter rolls up it's picking up that the banding and the lights like this but if you turn the shutter angle to 119.9 it eliminates this you don't see it at all as you can see here I have 119.9 and there is no banding whatsoever as you can see 119.9 uh, that's the shutter angle uh, that you would want. And that's what it would look like when you are shooting uh, to prevent shutter, you know, uh, the, the banding. Now, if you set it to this, where it says shutter speed 125, then that is a no-no. You want this to show uh, the shutter angle of 119.9 using... Uh, the shutter um, the shutter angle and the anti-flicker okay and that is right there that's the anti-flicker and you want to turn that on and you'll have your your shutter angle to 119.9